So my life isn't all about making money, and I don't want it to be. And I don't think anybody should be. I mean, the whole point of having money is that it's a means to an end. It allows you to achieve some sort of goal or dream that you have. But if your goal and your dream is just to make money, what the heck is that about? Like, what are you going to gain? Do you want to just be the richest person who's dead? So if that's not, if that's not you, and it's certainly not me, then you have to think a little bit more broadly. You have, to, you have to think about all the various options that you have and try to figure out what it is that you want to do. And one of the things that I want to do is I just, I want to make great music. I want to make art and I want to travel the world and I, I want to inspire people. I want to, I just want to have a kick-ass life and money is just a minuscule part of that. And one of the beautiful things with Bitcoin is that it allows you to not think about money anymore. You just put your money into Bitcoin and then you watch it grow. Yeah, sure, it'll drop, but it'll go up eventually. And over time, it'll become quite a lot. And that's that's just it. I don't have to really think about it. So that being said, I'm really kind of excited about NFTs, to be honest. And at first, I kind of thought the idea was stupid. But now, after thinking it through, it seems to be a very revolutionary way for artists in this time to actually get compensated for their work fairly and to get royalties from their work without any middleman. I think that that alone is a very incredible opportunity. So that being said, you know, I have, I have this weird plan. I, I'm going to release a music album onto the blockchain and I'm also going to create limited edition vinyls uh, that will be uh, available on the blockchain as well. So people could go, they could just buy the songs. I'm not sure if that I'll mint them to Ethereum or if I'll mint them to the Wax blockchain because with Wax, I could actually give them away for free. Unlike with Ethereum, uh, the fees are so ridiculously high. If I want to sell just one track, it might not be worth it. But with these like limited edition vinyls, the idea being that it's an actual physical NFT. So you will be able to purchase it on the blockchain, trade it, sell it. Uh, but if you want to, you'll be able to go to my website and connect your wallet and prove that you own it. And you'd be able to actually redeem that physical item. And it would be sent to you. You could keep it on your wall. You could uh, take uh, the record out of the case and play it. You could then auction it off, sell it, whatever you want. And then the blockchain is basically going to keep record of who currently owns it. So I'm thinking like a limited run, maybe like 50 so or less even. You know, I might do 20 uh, and that's it. That'll all, all there'll ever be. And I think that this could be kind of a cool idea. The name of the album is going to be Mad Scientist. And it's going to be kind of like a, like a, a hip hop album, but more like a 90s kind of vibe hip hop album. And it's, well, I've got a bunch of the songs already written, and I just want to record it, release it out there, especially while NFTs are still hot, because, you know, these things come in phases. Uh, I, I don't think we'll be talking about NFTs next year, but in four years from now, NFTs will come back in style. This is kind of how it works. But I'm going to release these physical NFTs to physical, non-tangible, non-fungible token. It is tangible. It's non-fungible. So, I don't know, it's a weird idea. It'll be fun to do, uh, but I just gotta get my act together. I've gotta make some time, get in the studio, and uh, mint some wax. So, anyway, peace.